Right, so here's the close-up. I'm going to try and do it using a standard pair of sort of eyebrow tweezers, which you may have lying around somewhere in the house. Uh, if you've got something a bit more pointy, that might work better, but let's just try and, try and do it with things that people might actually have. So I'm just going to reach in here. You can see where the blades are there. I'm just going to reach in there and see if I can pull it out. So I'm just going to wriggle it in like that. And I'm going to grab it and pull it. That didn't work, so I'll try it again. So I'm just going to push it in gently. I'm leaning it forwards, not backwards. And I'm going to grab it and pull it. So that hasn't worked. Right, so I'm going to try again. So I pull, push the tweezers in. Like that. Just pull them forward rather than back. And now I'm going to pull. So it hasn't released it. I'm going to try it with these ones. Try it with these tweezers. So I'm just going to push the tweezers in. Like this. Remembering that I've got to clear the catch. And there it is. So that sort of shape tweezers work quite well. And I'll just reiterate what I was saying in the main video. What I hope you can see there, now I've got the right lens on. What I hope you can see is that there are little plastic lugs. So you've got to shove the tweezers in so that the little plastic lugs are the same height as the tweezers. Can you see that? Might be better if I do it the way up. I'll do it that way up like that. So it's the same height as the little plastic bits on there. So what you get then is it pops it out and then it can come out. Now you can put it back in if you want or you can leave it out. It's entirely up to you. But now that battery is removable because that clip there can can move. But if I push that back in, will it it might not it might not lock. I don't know. Let's see if I can get it back in. Because obviously, once you've taken it out, the worry is, do I need to put it back in? Should I put it back in? So I'm just going to get the tweezers lined up, and then I'm going to try and shove it back in and see if I can get it back in. So it goes back in, all right. Yeah, so hopefully now that's got the right lens on it, that'll give you a better idea. So just to recap, you can't really use your standard eyebrow tweezers, which are the ones that you're probably going to have lying around the house. I tried it with this sort of one here and it worked better. I've actually got a set of tweezers. What you want is one that's that's got a sharp point, but then it gets fat quick so that you don't have to shove it in too far before it reaches where the little plastic bits are. Anyway, hopefully that will um, shed a bit of light on it and um, offer a bit of clarity. So, um, yeah, like and subscribe, and um, thanks for watching.